Hey, what's up guys? Did you hear the news? Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. Aren't you excited? <sighs> Man, please. It ain't like you need the, the money, Floyd. I mean, we know you don't need the money. I think he just gets bored. After the Roy Jones-Mike Tyson fight that was considered an exhibition bout and Roy turned into Roy Huggs Jr. and Mike Tyson could have finished him off but let Roy off the hook, I wonder if they even had some type of, of agreement in the contract for him to take it easy on Roy since it was an exhibition, no headgear and bigger gloves makes you wonder. Because normally Mike goes to the body and comes up and relentless till he gets you out. He don't normally start hugging in you know, rounds one and two. You know, he might hug, you know, from round six and up, but not in the early rounds. Anyway, Floyd versus Logan Paul. Logan Paul has some skills, but he weighs 199 pounds. Floyd weighs 150. And I don't believe Floyd's moving up in weight to fight him. And I don't know if Logan Paul's going to move down. But that's how confident Floyd is that he's going to beat Logan Paul. He can give him that much of a weight advantage and still win the fight. I mean, who wants to see that unless it's a real professional fight, no exhibition, 12 rounds, no 12 ounce gloves. Floyd, I mean, I know you got so much money, you don't know what to do with it. And I guess you're easily bored, but if you're going to come out and fight, fight one of the G's, you know. Spence, Crawford, Pacquiao again. Pacquiao's looking great, but come on, man. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Floyd. I wonder what Jeff Mayweather thinks of that. <sighs> Only reason I bring up Jeff, because uh, when I used to box, he used to give me advice via text message. I never, um, a mutual friend from uh, Vegas hooked me up with him, and uh, I'd ask him, like, what meal should I eat before a fight and stuff like that, and he'd tell me pasta or something like that. And, you know, I never talked to him on the phone, but he would text me advice, and then we had a falling out over something political and never talked again. <laughs> You know, but he was a cool guy. But I wonder what Jeff thinks of this. He's pretty outspoken. It's the J. Roos theory. Put hands on the like button. Comment, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends. And thanks for watching. Be fearless.